to create the pagination i am going to write the one post api which take input as a page request detail so for that what i did i created controller package and added student controller as a class and after that and set the dto i added the page request detail as the class so let's first write the page request dto parameter okay so here i am going to write private private integer okay so it is nothing but the page number after that private private integer page size okay so i i added this to parameter i need a getter and setter okay so i'm going to add add direct getter and i'm going to add add direct setter okay so i added added getter and setter so uh, why i take this two parameter okay so when i show you inside the student repository we have jp repository inside the page in nation and sorting repository we need to pass the page paper so for that we need to write the logic about writing the page paper okay okay so let's create one method here which return the page paper okay so i'm going to return public page paper okay get page paper get page paper okay so we take the input as the page request dto okay dto i i use name as a dto so we have the method called page request okay page request we have the method called off which is nothing going to return the page request so off is like we have three it is nothing but the method of writing so currently i am going to use this up later we are going to concentrate on sort and direction okay so i am using page request dot off okay here again i already added two attribute which is nothing but the page number and page size right so uh, as per this off okay it is going to take the int int but what is the first first one is the page and another one is the size okay so let's add the validation for the page okay so i'm going to use object objects dot non null okay so if it is not null dto dot get page get page number so if it is not null then what you are going to return you are going to return dto dot page number right and dto dot page number otherwise you are going to return this dot page number okay so i i forget one method uh, sorry uh, one thing i need to initialize it so by default the page number should be zero okay and by default page size should be the ten uh, you can put anything but page number should be zero uh, it is necessary because what happen according to your page number you will uh, miss you are getting the actual data so if it is 1 2 3 4 5 something else and on that page number you don't have the data so what happen at that time uh, uh, miss it it just written the null that's why i'm just putting the page number as okay so it is page okay so what we are doing here okay what we are doing here we are getting the page number and checking if it is not null if it is not null we are getting the page number from the from this dto otherwise we are taking this page number as a zero so for example uh, if you don't pass any argument and it is null okay and it is null so at that time it will going to return this page number i am say a page number as a zero right now i am using the same logic okay for size okay so i am renaming this size okay so get get size 
get page size okay and here I am going to put page size I should use this instead of that so yeah I am using the okay get page number okay and it is like this dot page size by default it is 10 okay so yeah we have uh, done this page means we have this page and size now I am going to pass this page comma size so what it will return it will return you the page request okay so I am going to return this directly so this is how you are able to return the page table in first place okay so uh, once you go into the controller uh, I need to use two annotation one is a request controller and another one is the request mapping so inside the request mapping we have slash we have to write slash student okay after that I am using the post mapping I direct post mapping okay which return the list of student a list of a list of student okay get all student using pagination is the name of the method and the input should be this page request detail so for that I am using request body and page request detail is the name okay no okay it is something else from something um, yeah, it is from other class I want this page request detail okay so this is the first one page request detail and the variable name is detail okay now what I am doing I am creating the object of this page request detail and there I am going to pass this detail and get pageable right so how we are going to create the object uh, using new page request detail okay there I am going to pass uh, get pageable there we need to pass the page request detail right so I am going to pass this detail we already created this method and what it will return it will return the pageable okay now the last part we need to do is call the repository so I am going to uh, I must initialize that uh, repository using at our word private student repository so here we go now we just need to call student repository student repository dot find all okay so find all there we are going to pass pageable sorry pageable okay so once we are able to pass the pageable what it will return it will return the page of all student okay uh, yeah student page should be fine okay and I'm going to return this okay again my bad uh, I need to return it uh, yeah miss I want to change it to page why page because uh, from repository where direct get the page I can do like that also means I can return the list also but I don't want to return the list so if I do like this student page dot get content so yeah it will it will it will return the list of student right it will return the list of student but yeah I, I, I don't want to do that right now I want to return the page I forget in first place so that's why I am done this modification so I am going to return student page let's run this program is running on 8080 list open the postman and test it so we have localhost localhost the port number is 8080 80 slash student and request type is post 
okay so inside the body i just need to pass empty parameter this okay so what i am trying to do now i am just hitting it directly i am just clearing the uh, console and let's see what will happen so if i hit it directly it is giving the unsupported media type let's see what happen so okay maybe while sending the request i need to change this text to json okay now let's send it again and you will see uh, so uh, in the database we total have the 19 record right from 1 to 19 so while getting the data we are able to get up to record till 10 and we have some other data also so this is nothing but the page table and this this data is written by the spring boot okay so uh, it is it is giving this data like is it sort or not is it empty or not what is the offset page number page size so by default page size is 10 and by default page number is 0 that's what we added right while writing the logic okay uh, so is it last so is it last page no it is not so we have more data uh, means more data means currently we have only 10 data but in database we have total 19 data so so it is like we have it is not last and total element is like 19 okay why because we have 19 data uh, means how number how many uh, numbers of pages we have so we have total two number of pages so this is the first page and the second page where we should have the nine record so that's what it is written in. current size is 10 so yeah this is the data uh, which is used by front-end guy to implement the pagination like google okay so uh, now let's uh, customize it uh, we have page number and size two attribute right remember uh, let's go to the page request gto uh, here we have page number and page size so how to go to the next page right now so currently page number is the zero i'm going to put page number as a one and the page size okay if i don't put the page size by default it is 10 okay so i'm just incrementing the page number by one now we are getting the data from the 11 12 13 to 19 so what happen if i go to the page number uh, sorry two okay so if i go to the two the content is zero means we don't have any data so this is this is just a pagination data which is uh, which is written by the spring boot okay so what happen if i want to uh, change the element okay change the number of element per page so we have another attribute uh, let me change the page number to zero and let's see if i change the number of pages page number okay i want to change the number of pages to uh, uh, okay sorry no not page number it's a page size sorry my bad again so the page size uh, should be uh, for example i am adding page size as a 5 so total pages should be 4 okay so i am executing it so uh, let's see the output so we have 5 record in first place because we changed the page size and uh, so what it written the current page size is 5 right total element is 9 but the total pages internally it calculated as a 4 so you can go till 4 okay means 0 1 2 3 4 means 0 1 2 3 and current size is 5 so if i change the page number here like if i am going to change it to 1 you will get the data from 6 to 9 10 okay if i change uh, this to 2 let's check you will get the data from 11 to 15 right if I change it to 3 you will also get the data till 19 but if I change the page number 4 okay so you don't get the data so this is how it work actually this is the pagination uh, same like Google thing but if you see the query part so we have this query part and we are just analyzing this only one query okay uh, so internally what query it firing it just firing the limit query and passing the count okay so pagination is nothing but uh, the limit so from what limit 
too hot limit you want actual data this is how you get the data thanks for watching